hello everyone welcome back to the max city youtube channel how are you today we are doing great the weather is um, nice out it's still the rainy season you know but yeah the sun still comes through so today we want to show you how we made um, our alp vest and alp tea all of the, i'm going to be showing you all of that we have a separate video on how the alpine stitches worked and then we also explained in that video that um, depending on the on the yarn weight you can actually do a lot now this is a wearable garment right so we use the very thin yarn weight for it right and so for something thicker you definitely need if you want to make a blanket for example or a sweater you're going to be needing a, a thicker yarn weight you know all the way to bulky yarn for those who want very chunky uh, blankets all right so are you new to our channel have you subscribed yet if you haven't you should totally go do so every week we bring you uh, crochet inspiration on the different uh, types of projects that are that are possible with crochet you know wearable garments uh, wardrobe accessories uh, uh, interior decor for your wall for your floor depending on where where on where and how you want it different uh, niches of crochet we uh, bring you inspiration on those and then um, other times we bring you special videos on how we made one of our bespoke apparel or accessories or interior decor. All right. So you should totally go subscribe and um, get with the program. <laughs> All right. So let's start with this. So um, for this particular vest, this vest was made for a, a nine-year-old boy. Right. So we started at the base with this very nice ombre um, look. This is brown all everything here is shades of brown and then we just added some you know white off white there so we started at the base we started with the base of the t of the of the vest now the base here we worked with front post back post we started there for and our reason was um our reason was that for this type of stitch usually when you work it it has a way of um spreading so to speak it spreads out so this was to contain it this particular base was to help us contain it early on so we started with the front post back post for as many rows as you want depending on how you want the grip of the vest or t-shirt to be and so when we're done with that and we now work the alpine rules in the round of course and like we explained in our in our um in our alpine the alpine stitch video we said you're going to be needing double you're going to be needing even number of stitches all right, so we walked in the round, the single crochet rows and then the double crochet rows, single crochet rows, double crochet rows, and fixing in the front post where we need to fix it, alternating odd, odd stitches and then even stitches. We walked all the way here to this um, armhole point, and then, of course, we had to split the uh, panels, the front panel here and then the back panel. Back panel, you walk up normally, creating the grooves for the, the armhole, and then of course, the front post we worked is such that we created this V V look right here. So essentially, part one here, this base. This was a part two, right? Part three, we now um, edge the we edge the armholes with the um, front post, the back post stitches, you know, for about three rows, and then we added this collar. The collar we worked with a, a slightly thicker uh, yarn weight, right? A few rows there, and then we labeled it. So you can have whatever label you want on it. You can have whatever nice adjective or verb <laughs> you want written on your on your um, alpine tea. It's very simple because it's just one stitch, one stitch all the way, one very beautiful textured stitch. Look at that, beautiful textured stitch. Very very nice, very nice. Okay, so um, this is a small size, right? Made that for a small human being. And like we always say in our in, in our videos, essentially all you need is measurements. So once your measurements are different, you can walk anything. This is for a slightly larger individual. This is for a, 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 a medium-sized male. This is also a vest worked the same way, right? The base, the body, right? Look at how beautiful it looks in this color. This texture is really, really amazing. You can do a lot of things with it. And then, of course, the um, vest, uh, the vest sleeves, or the arm, the armhole, um, the armhole edging, and then, of course, the collar. So that's it essentially. Now, would you want to add sleeves to yours? That is really simple as well because we added sleeves to one of them. All right. So for this one, right, this is the Alp T, a T-shirt. 
for this one the sleeves what we did was after you create the armhole you now work the same alpine stitch all the way down and then you edge it it's really simple so start at the base if you can that's part one part two the main body part three you can walk walk the sleeves and edge it and then walk your collar right in whichever way you want it you can make it one color you can make it you know several colors you can make a main color and all of that and you can just do and undo so do you have questions about this video is there any part of it that you are not quite clear on um, and we're going to be attaching, we're going to be uh, putting in the link to the main uh, video on how to work the alpine stitch in there in our, in our uh, description box. So you can click on it and then go learn that, uh, you know, work, work your project, work your wearable garments, work your, um, your rug. Imagine a rug with this texture. <laughs> yeah, and work your, work, work your blankets, right? And then uh, let us know. Now, if you would like a one-on-one -on -one class, do also let us know in the comments and then we'll get back to you on how that works. Let us know where you're watching from and we'll send you a special greeting from this uh, part of the world, wherever we are. Thank you so much for watching.